a display of military strength in Siberia last month. Russia could never show off its cyber arsenal in this way. But, as the Foreign Office confirmed today, it has one of tremendous reach and range. These are some of the names the Foreign Office say are behind the reckless and indiscriminate attacks on targets ranging from Ukrainian airports to UK television stations. At the bustling Cyber Security X conference in London, the UK's first cyber operative said all signs pointed to a professional setup. It is a day job for these people. You know, they are paid members of the military and they rock up to work just like you and I would, so we do. In fact, there was a very interesting uh, 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 feature uh, through some work conducted by the Dutch intelligence where actually they were able to attribute this activity by hacking into CCTV cameras and watching people walk into the office. They were able to record the keystrokes of what they were doing when they were in the office and then when they, went, when they would pack up and go home, they were able to watch them leave the office through the CCTV. So it is very much a day job. Yeah. Spear phishing, emails designed to trick users into giving up network access, were employed to target the World Anti-Doping Agency and the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Ransomware, a malicious virus which threatens to destroy your files until you pay a fee, was used to attack Ukraine's Odessa airport. Malware, malicious code which allowed Russians to take screenshots and capture keystrokes, infected the Democratic National Committee for over a year. Today, the Dutch authorities also released photos of the equipment used for close access attacks on the OCPW. A Wi-Fi antenna in the boot of a car, designed to suck up employees' data. And smartphones, perhaps for hacking into the Wi-Fi network. It's basic, but it works. I mean, we, we quite often use the term in the industry APCs or advanced persistent threats to mean really advanced, really complicated, you know, threat actors and advanced attacks and quite often they're kicked off with a simple email. Once attack comes from anyone with a laptop, defence rests on everyone with a password. Keep them strong. You don't know how important they could be. Roland Manthorpe, Sky News.